is the third birthday. <laughs> I hope after three people will stop <laughs> because if you keep on doing this, I will be addicted to birthdays. <laughs> so I don't like any kind of addiction. Huh? Uh, anyway, thank you very much for uh, all the trouble taken to organize this and to publish a copy table book. Uh, then I got some presents. Uh, bat. I don't play cricket, but I still like the cricket bat. <laughs>
to do so many things uh, and he tried to bring in so many rules and regulations for me to follow. Uh, but good thing is he never tortured me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my teacher in that sense a very good teacher. Uh, so, but I had to go for many trainings. Uh, I felt like uh, I was under Israeli trainers, <laughs> uh, but I I managed to go through tough training uh, and tough situations. Fortunate thing happened was I had to be under him only one year. Uh, after a year, he sent me to a monastic school uh, where I received my uh, monastic training. Uh, then I managed to go through that training. Uh, later I went to the university, completed the studies. That was the time I decided to come to Singapore because of men. Uh, there is another question asked, always asked by people, uh, are you happy with your life? I have spent my life as a monk uh, for 62 years, huh? now uh, 62 years, I became a monk. 68 years, sorry. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I became a monk when I was 12 years old, now 80, that means 68 years. So, when I think of my life for this long period of time, 68 years, I can say I am happy. Um, uh, I am happy, I have no regret. I never regret about the life as a monk and I think rest of my life also I won't regret, I strongly think I don't have to regret for anything. Uh, one reason is I did not want to achieve so many big, big things. I just wanted to continue my life as a monk. I completed my studies, then I started to do my services, work, uh, without much expectations. <coughs> uh, I am very contented with the life uh, as a monk, so no reason to get regret. Uh, the other thing is, I follow a very important teaching of the Buddha, the Buddha advised us, uh, when you want to do things, you have to think after doing, do you have to regret about that or do you have to be happy about that? I always remember this teaching. When I want to do things, I always think, what is the what will be the outcome? Do I have to regret about things I have done? If I feel like I'm going to regret after doing this or that, I did not do. If I see I can be happy with things which I have done, when I think of them later, I used to do it. As a result of that, I managed to avoid many regrettable things. <coughs> so I don't have any regret about my life and about my work. And I am very happy uh, when I think of my time in Singapore. Huh? I came here only for six months. Uh, but that six months was extended to one year by the people of the temple where I started my work for the first time. After
after a year I went back, but uh, so many people sent invitations, asked me to come, then I came for the second time. Then second time, uh, when I came, I managed to establish a place by my own. Uh, of course, when I say my own, not alone, so many Singaporeans friends helped me. With their help, I started uh, my work and a place to do work. And I tried to move towards a different direction. Uh, I tried to move away from popular Buddhism uh, uh, or traditional Buddhism. Always I thought I uh, I am here, at least in a foreign country, to teach teachings of the Buddha, not for guiding people to follow ancient traditions or popular traditions. Uh, I try my best to do that, uh, and I will. I can see some results. I don't say I have got a lot of results because still people like popular Buddhism. That's why we call it popular Buddhism. Uh, but my intention is uh, guiding people towards early teachings of the Buddha, what the Buddha taught. Uh, uh, when people know what the Buddha taught, they can, they can follow their own traditions. There is nothing wrong with it. So, because of this understanding, I did not bring to Singapore Sri Lankan Buddhism or Sinhalese Buddhism. Uh, I am very happy about that. Uh, I think monks or lay people who want to spread teachings of the Buddha have to remember this important thing. What is important? Don't try to teach people traditional Buddhism. Learn original Buddhism, early Buddhism and taught people early Buddhism. The people who listen and learn can understand what is true Buddhism. Then they can follow their own tradition. Chinese people can follow Chinese traditions, uh, Chinese practices. Thai Buddhists can follow Thai practices, but they can learn the original Buddhism when we teach them uh, what the Buddha really taught. So I try to stick to that principle. Uh, it has worked in certain ways. I don't say I am very, very successful, but still I like to stick to that. I won't change that uh, principle. Uh, that is all <coughs> I can say once again. I can say my appreciation towards you all and you all made my life in Singapore a meaningful one. Uh, when I think of that, I am very happy. So I wish you all uh, good health, happiness, progress in your Dhamma studies and uh, may you all be well and happy.